Hello again students and welcome back to Miss Bullock's Flipped Classroom. One of the things that students really need to work on when they're reading text is the skill of making connections. And here you'll see our little light bulb is not yet plugged in. So let's talk about the skill of making connections and how to actually do it. So the very first question, of course, that you have is, what is making a connection? Well, a connection is when you apply what you have read and what you understand from a text to the world or life outside of the text. We know life is not just about what we've read, and life's not just about the stories or the novels or even the magazine articles that we've read. So what we want to do is take the text plus our view of the world, and connect it so that we end up with a lit light bulb. Woohoo! So you say, okay, now that I know what it is, why is it so important? Well, one of the first things is it helps you understand the text better. So this is going to give you a better idea of what you've read. It's also going to help you apply what you've learned to whole new situations. And the best and brightest part about this is it's a high level of thinking. And that's a skill that employers and teachers just love. So it's definitely something you want to have. So, helps you understand. It gets that brain of yours to apply what you've read to new situations. And it's going to help you graduate and then on top of that get a good high paying job. Oh, scary. Almost again, huh? So, how can I actually make connections then? Well, you use the concept of compare and contrast. With comparing, you're telling me what's the same. And with contrasting, you're telling me what's different. And then you can also use questioning. Hmm. So, let's look at comparing and contrasting. Boy, if these boards don't want to fall on me today, huh? There we go. So when we compare, we might want to think about stems like this. This is like, and then you would put in maybe another story or something from history that you've learned about or something from your life that you've experienced because, and then you would explain to me how those two things fit together, how they're similar. If you contrast them, then you might say this is the opposite of and again, you're going to say maybe another story or something from history that you've learned or even something from your own life that you've experienced because, and you'll explain to me how those two things are just completely different. Questioning is another thing that you can use in order to work this skill. So, with questioning, you want to try these particular stems. The stems like do you know of another instance when? And you would add when what? And you would definitely begin then to answer that question and that would help you make a connection. How is blank similar to blank? Again, answering that question is going to help you make a connection. How is blank different than blank? So answer the question. Explain why blank is a good or bad thing. Again, with this stem, once you make the explanation, you've made a connection. What could be the consequences of blank? Once you answer that question, you've made the connection. And who will gain and who will lose? Once you've answered that question, again, you're making a connection. So, once you do all of these things, congratulations. Good job, you. You, you have used these methods and you will continue using them to go out and begin making connections. And this time our light bulb is plugged in and bright. Don't forget to study for your vocabulary and I'll see you in class.